morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and for the old timers, yes, I think that you thought that I would open the good morning like that, because of course I was hacked uh, two days ago by now, almost two days ago, and I'm going to talk about that hack today in this video, because I want to share with you um, what I felt, but also what happened, of course, and hopefully so you won't fall for the same stuff that I fell for, probably. Now, let's jump into that part. Bam! It all started, guys, almost two days ago now, uh, when we were coming home from dinner and we were just chilling and outside at the porch. And I checked my telephone, I, I saw my trust wallet, and on that wallet, I saw a small amount. I'm like, this is not right. It should be almost 200k more than I can see on this wallet now. But sometimes the trust wallet needs to load and all that stuff, or some tokens are not uh, loaded directly. So I'm like, okay, this will be a mistake. So 20 minutes later, I check again, and still there's only 60k on that wallet. I'm like, this is not right. So I check all the tokens on the wallet, and I immediately see that uh, two tokens... Uh, were completely gone So those two tokens were my most important tokens of that wallet uh, So they represented the biggest part of that wallet So it was not like that I was hacked for everything But just, just those two tokens In total there were more than I think 30 different tokens in this wallet The trust wallet I'm talking about And only two of them were completely gone so that, that didn't make sense to me. So I started to check in um, into the wallet more and more. Guys, I know that you expected a structured video with all these images and charts, but that's just not me. I just don't want to make all these images. It's just too much time for me. So, so you need to do it with this uh, simple video walk and talk like this, like I always do, guys. So those two tokens, guys, were one token was Apex and one token was CoinWeb, CWeb. CoinWeb, I had 1.3 million tokens, which represented somewhere around 30k, and um, Apex was around 200,000 tokens, uh, which represented at that time around 60k. So that in total was already 90k. Now the strange part of the story comes. So I'm already okay with, oh fuck, it's 100k. At that moment, I get into contact with my good friend, uh, Mott Poker, um, you know his Twitter handle, and he's like, Didi, but this is not right, how can they only take two tokens? So he starts to dig into the ether scan, and he finds that it's an inferno, inferno drainer. The famous one uh, that everyone is being scammed and hacked by at the moment, so that one took me as well. So then the reason that they got access to those two tokens should be that I clicked something or somewhere. Now comes the strange part. It all happened at 6.30 in the morning. I'm asleep. I was not clicking at that. I was clicking on my wife's <clears throat> beautiful ass or something, guys. But I was not clicking anything. I was asleep. You know, I was just sleeping. I mostly wake up around 7, and then 7.30, I start to, look, like, get a coffee and all that stuff. But 6.30 was too early. I checked my iPhone. I checked, you know, all the data. You can see what you do at those certain times. It was still not moving. So he got access way before that. So it must have been a tweet, a photo, a WhatsApp, a email. It must have been a link that I clicked a few days before. But the strange thing is, if we look at the Ether scan, it gave access to those tokens on 6.30. So I was completely confused. I didn't know what happened. Now. Then the rest of the part made it a little bit more clear because when I found out those two tokens were gone, okay, I needed to start and send tokens from my wallet to another wallet because that wallet was compromised and I didn't want to take a risk with the last 60k that was on that wallet. So in that moment, I started to send away my tokens to another wallet. I made a new wallet and I started to send them. And while I was sending them, somebody accessed my complete wallet. He started to send away my Ethereum. And when people have access to your Ethereum, it is not a drainer anymore. 
then they have your private key because else they can't send your Ethereum. They only can send tokens with these drainers. So now something really strange is happening because I didn't talk to anyone. There was never a leak as far as I know. And suddenly he has access to Ethereum. I, I don't know how it happened. But what happens next is even more crazy. A person um, on Telegram with a name, the same name as a moderator in the Apex group, starts texting me and tells me, hey Didi, I see that your Apex are being drained, can I help you? I'm like, I didn't tell anyone yet, so how can he know that my Apex are being drained? Oh, my face is really dark now, huh? Maybe I will go in between the trees over there, guys. We have a better view, because the sun is really bright. As you can see, it's a blue sky. So at that moment, the most strange thing happens. A person pretending to be an Apex moderator from the Apex Telegram group um, contacts me. And I directly check if that's the person. I, so I check, I ask him first, you know, are you the official moderator? Yes, I'm the official moderator. And he's like, I saw that you're, the Apex are being drained. Um, I'm uh, able to help you. You can um, use this in this website. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna use anything. So I check the profile's name. So you can go into the profile's name and then you get, you know, all the information at the moderator's name. And I click on the add moderator's name and by that I go to the official moderator and that chat box was completely empty. So I knew the other one was a scammer. So I didn't interact anymore with him. But from that moment on that I did that, I saw crypto being taken out of my wallet again. So I'm like, what the fuck happened? Because I clicked on his name. Did that activate something that he gave him access to my trust wallet? I co I'm completely in the dark. And that's the worst part of everything because I thought I had all my security, everything perfectly arranged. And now somebody probably has access to my trust wallet at that moment, to my private key because I can't figure out in any other way. I'm not that tech guy like that. And he started to send Ethereum out of the wallet to another address. So I start to track that address. Because I know, okay, if there's no Ethereum in the wallet, he can't uh, send the other tokens. And then suddenly, he starts to send a little bit of Ethereum back to the wallet. And every time he does that, he sends other tokens out to another wallet again. So I can't stop him. So I'm sitting there. I have Mort on the telephone. My wife is with me. My children are uh, around me because I was completely stressed, to be very honest. And I can see these wallets being drained. They, they are just being drained and I can't do anything. So I tell Pop Mort, please sell a little bit Ethereum to my wallet so I can start sending as well when he doesn't know. So we sent, Mort sends Ethereum to the wallet, bam, and Ethereum is directly gone. Directly gone, as if a bot just snaps them away. And again, and that happened two, three times. And the fourth time I was lucky and I could send some uh, funds out of the wallet. So to sum it up, that 60K that I was sending away part for part the tokens, when I started to interact with this person, he started to send away also a part of those tokens. So at the end, yes, I saved everything that I needed to save, but uh, that I could save, but at, at the end, they still had over um, 150,000 by then. So 150K loss. Yes, I don't care about losing um, crypto or money, whatever you want to call it, but for me, um, it's energy, you know, it comes and it goes and I can make it back. I know I am my own strength. I know what I can do. I know that I can always earn it back. And if it's 150K, yes, it hurts. It also hurts me. Even if I have way more in, in capital, it still hurts me. And the thing that hurts me most is that some fucking retard somewhere in Africa, because I'm going to come back to that story as well, um, got access to my wallet. And I always fucking take care of privacy and everything and I know for sure nobody can have my private key so I, I'm, I'm in a, completely in the dark what happened over there now at that moment all the funds are out of the wallet and I'm thinking this is all okay because at that moment I was still in the dark I couldn't believe that he had my private key till Martin told me did he but he's sending away your Ethereum this means that he has full access um, to your, to your wallet. I'm like, this is impossible. Then that contact that was uh, texting me started to call me. He started to call me in Telegram. So I answered the phone and I directly heard it was a South African accent. So I'm like, oh fuck, this is a scam. 
this is a fucking scam. So I told him, you're a fucking scammer. I told him, your fucking karma will get you. I told him, you will die. You will die, motherfucker. You will get what you deserve because you're stealing. This is not right. And he said, okay. And he hang up. And I'm like, oh, I was so mad. I, my wife thought I was wanna wanted to trash the laptop, everything. I was like furious. My ad started to like make fucking laser beams like into the screen. I was like, fuck, I couldn't, I couldn't fucking cope with that fucking feeling that he had access. But still, you need to be level-headed at that moment. And still, you need to make sure that you tick all the boxes that, that everything is really safe. But how can you if you don't know how we got access? And then the shitty part started to happen. Because he had access to my private key, he even started to drain. And it was in the middle of night. I think it was 4 a.m. by then. So I was already awake for a long time. He started to drain my liquidity that I provided to the family token. So he took out the Ethereum there and he took out everything else. And I'm like, how? How can he even know that I had liquidity in there? And then he started to take my NFTs. But I was able to send many entities as well because I just uh, I, because I just sat behind the laptop, and every time when I saw a little bit of funds coming in, or it was Matic or it was Ethereum, it was his funds that he transferred there. I started to send uh, directly the uh, NFTs as well. So I went to OpenSea, I clicked all the NFTs that I needed to send, like all the Ethereum is one, and then you can transfer them by one click. And then every time when I saw Ethereum coming in, I said, click directly. So I started to use his funds to transfer my NFTs into my own wallet, at least the ones that were still left. And then something happened that made me wonder even more what the fuck was going on. Because at that moment, he even started to unstake my NFTs from Commonwealth. And that is a very strange part. Because... I bought Generation 1 and Generation 2 NFTs from Commonwealth. And you can stake them. But the moment you stake them, they are not in your wallet anymore. And still, he knew that I was invested in Commonwealth and he started to figure out how to unstake those NFTs. And the Generation 1s were unstaked. There were a few of them. I think it was five in total. will be transparent. And he started to unstake them. It took a lot of time because he could only unstake one every 40 minutes i think something so he was able to unstake those but he wasn't able to unstake the other generation two ones because that took too much time i of course directly handled and called the nfc uh, the commonwealth team and told them guys this is happening and this is happening they could see everything so um yes they, they are taking measures so he will never be able to use um, those NFTs, he will also not get all the rewards because of owning those NFTs. Uh, the, the Commonwealth team was handling very quickly, so they handled that perfectly, that it's all going to be solved. I will get um, all the rewards I deserve, and I will also, um, in a way, in the future, when it's possible, um, be able to buy or get new NFTs of them. So that, that's all good. That's all good. It's Again, it's just money. It's just crypto. It's energy. It will go and will come back again. I will make sure I will earn uh, all of that stuff back. That, that's not the part that hurts me most. I, I had a sleep, sleep about that one, about the, the value that I lost. I'm like, okay, I did earn that as well. And I, I'm going to earn that again back. I also contacted the CoinWeb team, of course, and they told me they couldn't do anything at that moment. And I'm still waiting for their next response, how they are going to handle it. Um, but of course, I already saw and tracked the Ether scan. I saw that all the CWeb tokens um, were already like uh, exchanged into US dollar tether on Uniswap. So those tokens are gone. Um, that was 30k, and sadly, but you know, th these things happen. Yes, I was a CoinWeb millionaire. <laughs> I had 1.3 million coin webs. Okay, that's gone. Now, you might think, now that's the end of the story. No, that's not the end of the story. Because then I was uh, almost losing my mind um, because though I, I realized what more is there in this wallet. And I couldn't figure out what there was more in the wallet at that moment. So then the worst part of everything happened because he had access to my wallet complete access so by then i knew he had my private key it couldn't be anything else of course he started to use um, that wallet to connect to my dexes and all that stuff and then he started to even unstake my tokens i still had for example on the apex dex apex token staked he even started to unstake them send them to another wallet again 
um, and, and drain my Apex tokens from there again. And that was also almost 200,000 Apex tokens. By then, I was almost minus 400,000 um, Apex tokens. Of course, the Apex team uh, handled very quickly. I had contact with them. I must thank them out of the bottom of my heart, Apex team, that you were there for me directly at that moment because I know in Asia you were all asleep. They were there. They started to block everything. They started to help me. They were there. They were helping me. Um, they, 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 they saw which wallets were used. Was all those wallets are being blocked. Um, also, these wallets are being blocked on Bybit and all other exchanges uh, that know now that those seven wallets are tied to the heck. So, you know, I'm taking care of everything, but it's a shitload of work because at the same time, you need to create new wallets, new setups, new passwords, new everything. Uh, and you need to make sure this one, um, again, is safe on the laptop at that moment moment that it's not tied directly to the internet because maybe they had access to my laptop maybe we don't know there is we are completely in the dark so by then they also took 200,000 apex tokens tokens from um, my apex uh, account uh, I, I was very lucky I still had a lot of other tokens still locked up uh, there so uh, those tokens will come out in the next couple of months but those tokens were gone as well so by then 400,000 Apex tokens, just to give you an indication, Apex token at the moment <laughs> is only 20 cents. So yeah, that's only 80k. But if you go back uh, one or two weeks ago, uh, it was still 30 or 40 cents. So then it's like 160k. But that's what I meant with my tweet. Okay, it's the best time to be hacked because the tokens didn't have that much value. So that they didn't feel that hard, hard with a USD value. You know, it's, it's like just a little bit. So the hack is somewhere between 150 and 200k in total. The complete wallet is now empty. Um, it doesn't matter, he has the private key. Yes, he can use that wallet now um, to scam other people again, but uh, we haven't seen any movements in the wallet in the last two days. The wallet is like 0 0.23 dollar cents, so that's 23 dollar cents left uh, in that wallet. I opened complete new setups, complete new wallets. Yes, I even installed my new Bitbox uh, for, for altcoins, my Bitbox for Bitcoin. Uh, everything is new MetaMask. Everything is completely new. All the tokens are safe uh, now. Um, at least I think they are safe. If he has access to my laptop or whatever, you know, you never know. But even there, I took uh, the right precautions now and um, that, you know, uh, anti-hacker tool, uh, tools and all that stuff. So that is, in short, the story, in short, it's like almost 20 minutes, what happened to me. Now, to the hacker, if you're seeing this video, fuck you. <laughs> I hope you really, wholly, really choke in the money over there. Um, and else, you know, if you're a very poor guy, I hope you now have a beautiful life with that 200k. By the way, if I track all the wallets, it seems to be like two people. It's like that one. Um, I don't even know how the Inferno Drainer works, but it seems to be a company that offers people to hack people and then they take 20% and 80% goes to the people that had, that gave him access to wallets and all that. I, I still need to dig into that. I don't want to be dig into that. I want to I wanna just skip over this fucking um, episode very quickly. This all happened. Uh, it's gone. I don't believe I can get too much funds back. Um, I do think that all the Apex tokens, because you can only trade them on two exchanges and um, that every time when they want to be sell those apex tokens uh, they will be blocked uh, of course i was uh, directly in contact with those ex exchanges and um, i also tweeted about it now of course so if they want to sell those they, they will be locked and then you know they can't sell them anymore so or they give them back to me uh, and because they know they can't sell them or we take them from them when they try to sell them so so i i, I do have hope over there that my apex tokens will come back and that could be uh, almost 100k less scammed so then it's only one of the case scammed so let's stay positive uh, the most positive part uh, of all of this is that during that I was hacked Bitcoin started to climb so Bitcoin went almost from 27k to now 31k that's 5k up almost uh, so the other amount like my biggest part of my portfolio the bitcoins uh, they already easily made up for all the losses what I made but still it feels like I was beaten I was beaten. They they took control of my wallet, and I do always everything to prove to prevent that from happening. And the thing that I'm in the dark that I don't know what it is. That's what hurts me most. And then my eyes are not red from crying. They are they are red from not sleeping enough because you know um, to set up all new wallets and everything in security it just takes a lot. So 
Uh, I did do a walk last, yesterday in Portimao and directly this guy comes to me and he's like, oh Didi, uh, I saw what happened, um, yeah, just take a beach walk, have fun, say, yeah, thank you man. So yeah, people um, do care and I, that's also what I felt with all the Twitter um, comments, thank you so much for all those people that were supportive, that, uh, that tried to help me and, and comfort me and all that stuff. You know, for me, yes, at that moment, I live in the moment that is fucking hurtful you are losing 200k you're losing an apartment you're losing a beautiful car you're losing st funds for your children at that moment you know it's like a lot of money you're what i lost at that moment is what probably people in portugal need to work maybe six to seven years for that's what i lost in 24 hours so i know it's a shitload of value it doesn't hurt me because we still have enough and i can still live my life beautifully and um you know for me again money is energy and it goes and it comes and uh, yes it, sometimes it goes in a mysterious ways like a heck and sometimes it comes back in mysterious ways so i am full faithful there that everything will be fine but i do realize how much money it is how many beautiful startup projects i could have helped how many charities i could have helped maybe build another school somewhere i could have done so many beautiful things with it and now this idiot, probably from South Africa, stole it from me and I don't know what he's doing with it. Probably buying a beautiful Lamborghini and driving there with a Lambo. Um, so that is the whole unstructured story. Again, it all started two days ago, it all ended yesterday. Uh, uh, yesterday I didn't make videos, uh, sorry for that, I just did it, was not in it. I just wanted, wanted to like sleep and, and do my stuff and you know set up my whole new security. Now I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, now I was able to do it this morning. So by this, this is my complete video now on the hack. Um, if you want to know more about the hack, uh, yes, I'm going to write it out a, a little bit as well and make a tweet, a thread out of it so that people can, maybe if they want to track it, track the hack themselves and see what happened. Um, at the end, yes, I have my lesson learned and it's a big lesson for me, but also for you out there. Bitcoin is still the king. This could have never happened to my Bitcoin wallet unless they have access to your private key. But even then, uh, if you use a hardware wallet with a second layer authentication, they ca can never send your coins anywhere. This was trust wallet. So this is a trusted wallet normally, but it is a hot wallet. It's on my iPhone. And there is no second layer authentication possible on trust wallets. So when they have access, they have full access and you can't stop them anymore. So for example, if you use MetaMask, it's the same. If they get access to your um, private key, they will have access to your complete wallet. They can drain your wallet. If you use, for example, Ledger or any hardware or other hardware wallet, for example, the Bitbox that I'm using now in MetaMask, so you um, used so you import your ledger into MetaMask, then you will always need your ledger to send cryptos uh, while using the MetaMask. So it gives you access to this whole beautiful Web3 um, environment, but then with a double layer authentication. So you need to use your ledger every time. So when then people get access to your MetaMask, they can't do shit because they need your ledger and they don't have it. So the best setup to be completely safe out there is a combination of a hardware wallet and just, for example, um, the non-custodial hot wallets that you need to use to have access to the whole Web3 experience. So that would be, for example, for me, Ledger and MetaMask or any other hardware wallet and MetaMask. That's the safest way um, to play this whole game. I knew this. I made a big mistake. I did a lot of damage control. It cost me hours of work. Uh, and yes, the funds that were stolen is, I think, almost up to 200k now. But again, shit happens and you just continue. Yes, I'm going to do my best, of course, to earn that all back. But at the end, guys, money is energy. It will go out when it wants and it will come back when it needs to. So I have true belief that everything is going to be all right. Just like Bob Marley always says, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. If people want more information, soon I will make a thread on Twitter with all the data and then you can read it slowly. I just needed to make this video now. The old style way, my walk and talk. This now I'm not on the beach because of the noise, but in nature. Uh, I want to thank you for all the support. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the uh, content, then please give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. And know that all the links down below my videos are safe links. <laughs> you can click and sign up to Bybit. You can click and sign up to Apex. Because also the whole Apex team has shown now how quickly they reacted. So Apex and Commonwealth 
amazing teams. Thank you for everything. Morton, again, thank you for everything. Guys, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again, back then with a normal video with some beautiful jars and everything else. Maybe even after a day of sun on the beach, I will make a beautiful TA video this evening. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Stay safe. Bam.